All right, it's been a long time since I've had a look at this distribution, and I had a handful of you request that I look at this on cupoflinux.com, and this is just one of those things that on the bur back burner far too long. And I uh, just discovered that this was released in the past 24 hours, so I figured I would download a copy of this and have a look at it with you. And of course, this is RoboLinux Mate in 3D. Actually, we'll get into that. <laughs> okay. Um, going through the standard uh, routine of things, if we open a terminal um, and we uh, let's uh, run a command here on free tech M, you're going to see this is using 185 megs of RAM. Of course, that is to be expected from uh, Mate. So it's not using a lot of resources out of the box on a fresh boot up. Cool stuff indeed. And then if we look on the lower right, going towards the left and bottom screen, uh, quick access to uh, your trash, uh, your session menu, uh, a calendar, a power manager, your uh, volume control, network, four desktops to switch from, and of course, uh, a window selector is available to you as well. Then um, on the lower left, a quick launch to uh, Firefox, your file manager, the terminal, and of course, the menu. All right. Now, pretty much, um, let's go into why he's calling it 3D. Well, he's bundled Compiz with this. This is the version 3, so if we go I'll pull up the Compiz Config Settings Manager. Obviously, it's stripped down from, let's say, uh, you know, the, the version 9 series has always been a little bit stripped down. They've already got some configurations already thrown in with this. Um, now, obviously, because I'm running this in a ISO watch machine, I'm not going to be able to really get the most out of the special effects and that sort of thing. So I'm not going to really be able to demonstrate them here. But everything that you could come to expect with Compiz is loaded in this. You got the wobbly windows, the desktop queue, number of accessibility issues as well. So buy a portion of that. And I have a whole series on Compiz that you can check out, so it'll be well worth your time to uh, do a search to my channel and you can learn everything you want to about Compiz. So this is one of those few distributions that have the eye candy bundled in, thrown in. All set up, ready for you to rock and roll. All right, and then we have um, Robo's Free Stealth VM uh, C drop to VM app installers, that sort of thing. And I went in and I've already installed the um, the the them. And of course, if, uh, this is the only page that I've seen that does not have a Patreon uh, thing. Um, but the thing is, uh, he made this free. Okay, the last time I looked at uh, Robo Linux, there was a paywall up for that, and uh, now um, they're asking that if you decide to use this to uh, support them through. So it makes sense, and it's a good idea. Of course, um, you can also support them by getting a copy of uh, Private Internet Access. I use them myself; they're a good, um, excellent. All right, uh, I'm not sure what this ten dollar gift from Robo is. Let's uh, have a look. Uh, take advantage of Robo's. $10 gift. Okay, well, check it out. That's something to find interesting. Um, yeah. All right. But why I think this is an ideal distribution for beginners? Well, pretty much this includes everything you need, um, especially if you're coming over from the Windows side of things and you need a little bit of everything that it has to offer. Now, um, the thing here is um, I got a little bit confused when setting up the Stealth VM module this morning. Uh, but what you really need to do is you, you do everything um, here as numbered. And actually what I did was I started at number two. <laughs> Didn't get it right. But at any rate, basically you, um, you uh, do everything here in order. And uh, basically, it runs a series of shell scripts, okay? And uh, what happens is, once you get to the point where you've got the external installers um, put in, then you can open this up 
and it will give you an option to insert your legitimately obtained Windows disk and then set it up in a virtual. Um, now, obviously, uh, I prefer, well, from my personal case, I prefer to just download a uh, virtual machine from Microsoft that's already been prepared, and uh, I use that. Uh, just because it's an excellent time saver rather rather than having to manually install Windows and then up each and every you know, set up all the guest editions and that sort of thing. It's get virtual machine from Microsoft uh, to run Windows. But it all depends on your individual needs. So um, you know, do what works best for you. Um, all the accessories you need for getting day-to-day -day tasks done with the inclusion of backing up utilities and not only for doing backups on your system, but this also includes tools for backing up your virtual machines. So that's a nice touch. And this is one of the few things that makes this different from other distributions. Okay, And it has a bunch of other tools that a lot of other distributions don't have, such as the password manager, uh, password key and that sort of thing. Uh, a lot of distributions don't usually include those out of the box, and there's a bunch of other tools thrown in as well uh, that you can experiment with. Um, if you're a graphics artist, you have uh, the GIMP included with this, and of course a color selector, and a few other little tools. All right, and uh, obviously they couldn't bundle everything in one distribution, so they uh, made a list of convenient installers to make it easier for you to install something. Uh, for instance, I love Bleep that myself to keep the system clean up. Uh, it didn't get bundled with the distribution, but if you decided something you want, you can tell script and it will uh, install that for you. For uh, over a box, they have an installer for that, uh, claim a virus, and a bunch of other little things. On with Steam, they have an, have an installer readily available for you to get that installed as well. So, uh, Nice convenience is thrown in here, okay? And your uh, internet tools, everything you need for uh, all the different things you're going to want to do online. You've got Deluge for your BitTorrent, Firefox for surfing the web, XChat for uh, conversation on IRC, uh, Pigeon for instant messaging needs, and a uh, plethora of other goodies, um, Thunderbird uh, for email, transmit. So they've got two different... Uh, uh, BitTorrent clients. Um, yeah, I use KTorrent. So, uh, unfortunately, I had to drop Deluge. All right, um, you get the full LibreOffice suite. So, if you got to get that uh, spreadsheet out to your boss, have that included all as a document. Store. And uh, a few uh, sound and video applications. So, out of the box, this will play just most of your. Also, that's also cool. And then, of course, you can take screen or even uh, record uh, having a particular error and up on YouTube that error. Oh, you have that option available to you. Good stuff indeed. Uh, a whole page on the Stealth VM things, and if you want to learn about that, you're going to have to go on the website too. All right, uh, system tools are included in here, so this is where you're going to install all of your extra applications and uh, do a bunch of other configurations uh, with your system. Uh, some uh, universal access tools, so uh, you have an on-screen support if you need that you can by your screen. And of course, uh, there's even here that will allow the speed thing. All right, um, your administration section where you can manage your printers and all that other stuff. So it's all complete OS, in it, right? And here you can use all of your preferences. Um, and of course, being that this is Mate, the work, uh, you have a lot of options for uh, configuration. I didn't throw a whole lot in. This is where you come in and bring your own stuff to the table. So there's only two wallpapers, you know, uh, one or the other, but you can download. I kind of uh, expected that since that was their. Um, it's so easy to make your own themes for this, so they didn't really include lot in here um, but what they have included is a nice little framework to get started with so you can customize this and make um, 
So all in all, I'm liking what I see here. Uh, it's great, uh, great to have a revisit Robo Linux because I haven't seen it in such a long time. If you think it's something that you would like to use, definitely worth your time to download it and try it out. My only concern with this is this: this just released within the past 24 hours, and this is based on Ubuntu 16.04 and the LTS model right now is 1804. Um, now, I'm sure the developer had their reason for picking this particular version. This has, would in theory, I believe, and some somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's like three, four years of shelf life in this distribution. However, that's not the end-all be-all because uh, there are commands that you can run to fully upgrade this if you wish to. I think there's a way you can do it. Um, but it's been so long since I've run Ubuntu as my daily driver that I wouldn't really do that anymore because uh, I've been uh, I've been in Jarl land that sort of thing. So all in all, I like what I see here, and I thank everybody uh, in the couple of names suggested that I have a look at this. Um, this is a, a pretty decent looking distribution. Well worth your time, out, especially if you're new Linux and over to uh, the Linux side of things. Um, I feel as though this is a great distribution to start out on until you're ready to move on to bigger and better things. So uh, well worth your time to download this. And yeah. Well, that's all I have on today's episode of ISO Watch. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next. But I'm sure I'll have something equally exciting. So until next time, peace out.